Hi everybody, welcome to Simply Scuba and welcome to the dive brief. As so many of you seem to like the previous brief on basic hand signals, I figured that you'd probably like some other handy, useful hand signals to know for just general scuba diving. Because when you get outside of normal underwater conversations, it can be sometimes a little bit tricky to ad lib on the spot for some situations. And even basic things like yes and no aren't taught in foundational courses. So let's run through some handy hand signals. Yes and no can be quite useful in some circumstances and because a lot of scuba hand signals come from American Sign Language, ASL, a nodding fist means yes. Uh, and it just looks like a nodding head, which you can of course use to emphasize that yes. Yes can be used to confirm information instead of okay, uh, because sometimes using the okay every time can get a little bit confusing. So sometimes yes can be useful. And no is a pecking bird. Uh, and of course you can emphasize that again by shaking your head no. Um, I use it most when divers tend to get turned around and suggest to go the wrong way in a shipwreck or uh, let's go to that boat. Uh, no, that's not our boat. Thank you. Um, can sometimes be quite useful in some circumstances. Um, that's just from ASL again, but you do see it around certain dive sites. You just touch the bottom of your chin and, uh, and kind of flatten your hand out. That just means thank you. Danger uh, is actually the Wakanda forever, um, but the wrists are usually turned a bit normally. Um, instead of the full on Wakanda forever, uh, they're normally just out, just turned a little bit. Uh, if you've spotted something like fishing gear, or if you know that a certain passageway is dangerous, then you Wakanda forever, and then you point to it with a closed fist. You point at what's dangerous. Uh, it can also mean to abort the dive, um, or somebody has ended the dive and ascended, but I tend to see this with flat hands to mean someone's ended the dive, or we should probably end this dive. Crosses in general just tend to have that negative or final meaning on a dive. And if you're pointing a direction to go, instead of pointing at something or something dangerous, you point with a full flat hand as in let's go in this direction. Time. Uh, time is a handy signal to know, and it's simply just drawing a circle around your wrist or your dive computer. It's useful to emphasize how much time you have left on a stop, so time, two minutes, um, or how long it's been since something happened. Um, with that distance as well, can be quite handy to know. Uh, both of those, you just use your numbers afterwards to donate how long or how far something is or was, uh, or how far you have to go to reach something. So if you have to go 50 meters, it's 50 meters. And then you know, oh, okay, my boat is the one that's about 50 meters away. Look is fairly self-explanatory. Um, if you want someone to look somewhere uh, or watch you do something so they've got your back or they can copy something, look is fairly self-explanatory and most people use that just day to day. Uh, well, not really day to day, but it's a fairly common hand signal. Whilst we're on copying as well, um, the feeding bird uh, means to repeat something or just do it again. It's most seen during training. Uh, if you didn't do the skill quite right and your instructor wants you to do it again, uh, it's that kind of feeding bird motion. Send up a DSMB is just an upside down octopus or a small explosion in your hand. Uh, a lot of divers, they just send up their DSMB on their safety stop. You do the safety stop and they just send their DSMB up without thinking too much. But it is quite useful to tell your buddy that I'm going to send a, a boy up or for them to send their boy up. That way you don't both do it and end up tangling yourselves up. An entanglement actually is a modification of line, uh, which is a crossed fingers uh, from a reel or a spool. You just cross your fingers and that just means a, a line, some kind of string. Crossed fingers, if you do it in a figure of eight, uh, that basically means an entanglement. If you're stuck in something and you can ask your buddy to cut you free uh, or cut the entanglement, uh, whatever it is, cut again is another really common one that you see most places above the water as well. 
And these were a few more handy hand signals. Uh, as ever, so many of these can be quite regional. So if you didn't recognize them or you have a different one, um, then just let us know down in the comments below. These are the ones that I personally use um, for these particular signals. But yeah, if you have any other ones, then by of course, let everybody know what you use down in the comments below. Remember to like and subscribe if you haven't already, and then head over to simplyscuba.com for your next dive equipment, because we do sell quite a few interesting things. There's gonna be a link popping up in the corner. Thank you for watching everybody, and of course, safe diving.